Today we're talking about why the air power was canceled and another key director who's leaving Apple along with texture being canceled. So the first thing we're gonna be taking a deep dive into is why the air power was canceled. The actual reason why. Yes, yes, it's canceled. Over the weekend, Apple announced that the air power would be canceled. And a quote from Dan Riccio, their senior VP of hardware engineering said, after much effort, we concluded the air power will not achieve our high standards and we have canceled the project. We apologize to customers who were looking forward to it. We continue to believe the future is wireless and are committed to push the wireless experience forward. Apple was planning on releasing the air power this March. They were actually, it was in production. They were manufacturing it, but we believe that one of their test units while they were testing it, sort of had an issue and caught fire. I don't think that was the first time they saw this issue. Mm -hmm. There was a reason that they didn't announce it or didn't unveil it back in 2018, like they originally said when they announced it, mm -hmm. along with the iPhone 10 in 2017. There was a few issues. The main one was overheating. Yes, all those coils and such a small package leads to a lot of electrical problems. So they wanted to have 22 Qi coils or Qi certified coils on this charger. Typically, wireless chargers only have one, maybe three coils. Mm -hmm. So this one wanted to jump, make a huge leap in innovation to have 22, allowing you to charge the phone where or charge the device wherever you place it yeah. on the mat. And the problem with having so many coils is they overlap. Yes. And if you have electricity running independently to each coil, this could overheat. The thing about the air power is that it didn't have any vents inside of it. So there's no way to actually dissipate that heat except through the plastics, which would then melt. That was pretty much one of the reasons why they, they were trying to push it out. It's not like they just gave up. Yeah, I'm sure they're, they're really pushing for it and Wall Street Journal confirmed that Apple had approved production mm -hmm. for this back in January. Pegatron was also mass producing this product. A lot of reputable sources were saying that the air, po that the air power would be coming out before the end of March. Yeah, they even acquired from Advanced Technologies the actual trademark air power to produce air power. So it's kind of sad. They might come out with a revised version later on in the future. Well, possibly. yeah, they said that in their, their statement that they believe wireless is the future. Mm -hmm. And so they're looking for ways to push that market. I mean, they just came out with their own credit card. I'm sure they can make a less powerful wireless charger that we'd all like. But I think like it's good for Apple. This is mm -hmm. good because it's better that they would cancel a project no matter how much money they lost in production mm -hmm. and design and engineering than actually put out a project and have it fail and have, have devices overheat and even catch fire and cause some serious damage. It's good Apple is now starting to communicate more with its customers before in the past they would usually not say anything, especially with that whole iOS you know, downgrading your actual technology to save its battery performance. That was a huge thing. The air power was seen as kind of like, I feel like it got a lot more hype than it should have. What? Like with Why? A, with any new leaked information or any new timbit of information, it's like the whole tech community just like took that and went with it. We wanted it. Yeah, we everybody wanted, wanted it. it. Like once an image came out, everyone's like, oh man, even the new AirPods, the second generation AirPods have an image of the air power on it. Mm -hmm. And so that really set everybody off. Oh, they're coming, they're coming. Even we made a bunch of videos about the air power saying it's coming, but obviously we were wrong. Well, we weren't wrong, it was coming. They just at last minute decided that the production model wasn't good enough. Now, according to CNET, Apple's key chip architect, Gerard Williams III has left Apple. He was in charge of a couple of things that are very significant. One being the A7 chip through to the A12X Bionic chip and he's leaving Apple. This wasn't all that he was working on. He was also the technical lead for the Cortex A8 design, ARM's first superscalar core design, as well as the heart of the iPhone 3GS, Ooh, one of the yes. first iPhones that came out. So he has been with Apple for a few years, and a lot of these products and, and things that he was working on are like the staple of what Apple is doing. His work on the A7 chip was the first 64-bit CPU core, which was leagues ahead of Qualcomm and Samsung, released mm -hmm. a full year before they could even put out something similar. Even though he has left, he hasn't changed his LinkedIn profile, which is pretty much the Facebook of the business world. It still says he's the Senior Director of Architecture at Apple, so we don't really know where he's going. Some rumors are out there saying he's left and gone to Intel or Google. Nathan, elaborate. You know, but with his track record, I don't think he'll have a problem with where oh, to go. Oh, no, I he, mean. His work is incredible. Mm -hmm. 
some of the potential, one of the potential destinations that we think, and a lot of people think he's going to, is Intel. Right, okay. Recently, Intel is really trying to ramp up this division, and they've actually acquired a lot of AMD's top, top executives. They've also acquired the previous CPU architect at Apple, Jim Keller. Ooh. So they have a lot of talent there, and mm -hmm. Intel may be poaching these top guys who have a lot of experience and know what they're doing to try to expand their division. This and among other things leave me, leaves me with an easy feeling about Apple. Like a lot of, mm. not a lot of people, but a few of their top people are leaving. Yeah. Their recent iPhone sales slump. There's not, I don't think, I think there's tension within the Apple community right now, like mm -hmm. internally. And this might not be, be good for shareholders. So if you're investing yeah. in them, maybe it's time to sell your shares or maybe not invest in with them at all. Possibly. I mean, the A12X Bionic chip was so good. It's gonna be weird without him there, how they're gonna do for the A13 chip. Well, next up we have Texture is officially shutting down. Texture was an app that Apple has purchased last March where you could pay 10 bucks a month American for up to 200 magazines that you could read. And they will be shutting down on May 28th because they're making way for Apple's new Apple News Plus subscription service. Yes. Now, if you actually go to the Texture app right now and you are not already a member, you cannot get a new membership. Because the first month is actually free, so you wouldn't yeah. pay for the service at all. No, but they're saying you can't. They said it is now joining News Plus. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who don't know what News Plus is, or if you didn't watch the event, News Plus is basically a subscription service mm -hmm. for magazines and newspapers, which will give you access to 300 magazines, as well as some paywalled newspapers like the Wall Street Journal, mm -hmm. the Los Angeles Times, if you're in Canada, the Toronto Star, all for $10 a month. Or yeah. if you have a family plan, it's the exact same price. Yes, so you can share it up to five members, including yourself, for the same price, which is a good deal. Now, it is available today if you've updated to iOS 12.2. You can actually purchase News Plus already, but it's kind of sad, Texture's leaving. Yeah. I used to be a member. Did Texture. you? Yeah, when I had an iPad. You know, it's not as sad for iPhone users, or sorry, Apple users. It's I would say it's more disappointing for, for Android users because yeah. Apple News is only available for Apple products like the iPhone, the iPad, and Macs. And Texture used to be on Android. Exactly, so if you had a Texture subscription on an Android, now you don't have that subscription anymore. Like you're done. <laughs> oh, you can't, there's nothing, way. there's no alternative. But for the same price, it's better bang for your buck. There are more magazines on it now than Texture had originally offered, and you have that benefit of the new subscription. If you're an Apple user. If you're, but I mean, who isn't? I mean, you've there's got There's a have, lot of people. There's not that iPhone many sales people. last, or er, Samsung and Huawei sold more phones than Apple did last True, year. True, but there are over a billion iPhones in use currently. Yeah. That's one in seven. That's a lot of people. people. I don't know how many Androids there are out there. But it's still unfortunate if you're an Android user. Yes. Hopefully there are some alternatives. Get an iPhone. Or, or some company might come out with a new alternative specifically focused mm -hmm. for Android users. Or Apple News might become available for Android users. It's possible. We have seen Apple TV become available for Samsung and Sony TVs, as well as LG TVs, which is something Apple has never done before mm -hmm. in the past. That was all the news updates we had for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Comment down below if you want us to look into anything. And subscribe if you're new.